the notions of Western science have served the purpose of colonizing and recolonizing and subduing countries and peoples with the weapons of science and technology and for some human beings to impose their will on other species of the planet, particularly in their own species. Honoring the principle of balance, complementarity, and harmony, the use value of the wisdom handed down by our ancestors and the wisdom of the, our peop the peoples of the world should be respected and formalized on an equal conditions, just the same as the paradigms of science, technology, and innovation of the West. Uh, we must understand that uh, the uh, library, the Mother Earth Library and the Huge uh, life laboratory is for all. Today we work on the creation of new forms of life dissociated from Mother Earth, replacing biological, natural, organic life with a synthetic and artificial life against the life itself. Artificial intelligence could uh, mean the final rupture between human beings and nature. The capitalist system promotes conditions to widen the digital divide and the scientific and technological gap. In the current world order, science and technology contribute to an incredibly unfair, unequal, and polarized world. We agree that we must use the best science possible for t making deci political decisions, but it's imperative to make a critical analysis, a analysis without dogmatism and based on epistemology, ontology of the original people or native people. We must. Uh, stress that science, modern science has replaced religion as the new dogma of our times. In the context of this catastrophe brought about by the capitalist domination in the energy, social, monetary, labor, educational and ethical system, the rhetorics uh, of uh, the benefits of technological innovations for all is the excuse to impose uh, the dictatorship of owners and operators of transnational corporations on technology and innovation. Let us open our eyes, our heart, our minds. Technological transfer is part of the development myth. The uh, proprietors of science, international, transnational bank, weapons industry, and transnational corporations uh, are increasingly consolidating their control over science and technology. In detriment of the principles of the life culture, as Mother Earth restitutes the principles of complementarity, balance, and harmony, their power will end. Nothing is going well. There is world disorder. There is uncertainty in the planet. Everything has to change. United, the United Nations must change. The international financial system must change. The Tenth Pachacuti calls us to repair <coughs> the uh, damages uh, that uh, humanity has provoked and to go back to the self-sufficient life systems that we call the Wanaku IU. This is not only a society model, it is also a true 
system for organizing life that takes into consideration all human beings. And we are interdependent. The time transition of the 10th Pachakuti is a time of dystopias suffered by all humankind and by Mother Earth that we understand at the time of uh, absent Ethiopia, where death overcomes uh, life. If disinformation prevails over information, corruption prevails over honest honesty, injustice is politicized and division prevails over union. We must decolonize the current scientific world order with epistemological and systematic dialogue between modern sciences and the science of native peoples seeking real solutions to the multiple world crisis. We must go beyond the trap of the Future Summit, monopolized, monopolized by the <coughs> anthropocentric paradigm, and uh, we must hold an assembly of the Mother Earth, putting the rights of Mother Earth at the center. We must uh, promote a digital covenant, scientific and technological, with a proposal of open science, with no privatization nor commodification of science, technology, and digital transformation. We must build a new horizon for humankind from or promoted by the group of 77 plus China. The outcomes of the G77 summit held in Bolivia in 2014 states that uh, from the south of our countries we must build a new world order with social justice for the welfare of our people, long live the, our peoples, that energy that never dies and belongs to all of us cannot be given away. Long live peoples throughout the world. Long live Cuba. I thank Your Excellency, Mr. David Choquehuanca, Vice President of the Plural National State of Bolivia. And we now give the floor to Hossein Ali Binjing, the President of San Siba. <coughs> We were listening to the statements of the Bolivian Vice President David Choquehuanca, who expressed the need to protect Mother Nature and warn of the risk of artificial intelligence in our societies and how we interact with nature. The Vice President denounced the unbalance of technology transfer. Choquehuanca stated that today's institutions are not working, saying that the UN, the IMF, all international institutions must change to face current challenges. We're going to continue giving special coverage to the G77 Plus China Summit being held in Havana with a key topic, strengthening South-South cooperation and a topic on technology to develop and face the challenges that humanity is currently facing and achieve development goals. Stay tuned with Telesur for more. <laughs> 